Hey, what's up gamers? Thanks for checking out Grindforce Gaming. I'm Falcon, and today I'm coming at you in Street Fighter Duel with a guide for how to complete level 3740. This is one of the hardest levels in the game because it's the first time that the game requires you to use three teams to complete a single level. Let me show you how I did it. Level 3740 is a pain in the butt, no question about it. It is a tough level. You have to fight three teams, and none of the teams are easy. It's not one of those situations where in a multi-team battle, one of them is a little bit weaker, so you can just put your tertiary team against that one. All three of these teams are really strong and require a degree of strategy and or interrupting in order to complete them. So you need three solid teams of your own. By this stage in the campaign, hopefully you've got a pretty fleshed out roster. I mean, level 3740, you've been playing a while if you're, if you're here with me. So you probably have a lot of options to work with. And of course, there's going to be a number of ways to do this depending on, on what you have available to you. But I'm going to show you the teams that worked for me and how I made them work for me. If any part of this video helps you out in your own strategy, please be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Grindforce Gaming for more Street Fighter Duel guides. As you know, I'm free to play and I'm always bringing you guides for free to play from a free to play perspective. Um, so I don't have any of the like paid legendary characters or anything like that. The only divination character I use is M. Bison. The only special summon unit I use is Akuma. The exception here is that I also technically use Oni, but he's a mercenary that I'm borrowing from my guildmate Nova. Otherwise, this is free to play friendly. This is all normal faction fighters um, or fashion Blanca, who is of course free to obtain. So, very free to play friendly. Let me show you exactly how I did it. First up, I've got my Viper team. Viper is my most reliable fighter, and I've got her with Beast Zangief, who is obviously the most reliable interrupter. So I'm gonna start with that one. I am, <laughs> I am playing on 4X speed in manual mode. That's how I usually do it this, these days. Um, I'm a manual player all the way. My Beast Zangief, I've got that down pat. I can do it at 4X speed. As you can see, I don't miss a single interrupt here. Um, and this is just kind of the tried and true comp. I'm not going to go into a ton of detail here because there are multiple videos I've already put out where I kind of detail this strategy. I'll put a card up on screen here. Um, my level 1040 and my guide for level 1240, both of those videos in particular, um, will be very helpful to you on understanding how to time that Beast Zangief interrupt. There's nothing special going on in this comp. I've got uh, just a reliable tank in E Honda up front. I've got Street Poison for the C1 just to pump up that damage for Viper. Viper's doing all the damage. She's got combo one and three. And of course, I'm interrupting every one of the enemy combos with Beast Zangief. That's the most important part. Shut down the enemy combo and you'll win. It's really that simple. Again, if you're having any trouble with this, this tactic, I'll have a card up on screen and I will also put down in the description a link to my guide for 1040 and my guide to 1240, both of which go into a lot more detail on timing out this Beast Zangief spin. But truly, at this point in the game, I'm kind of assuming you guys know how to do this. So let's move on to the second team. For the second team, I'm using a fire comp. Dalsim is just a mad damage dealer. So I've got him paired with Fashion Blanca. M. Bison is up front, and Summer Yang has my C1. So it's a pretty stacked team. I don't play on manual for this one. I just let it play out because I've got my X move set up in the way I want. This comp is all about as much damage as possible, as quickly as possible. So you want to be pretty speedy. Um, having characters like Chun-Li or Beast Zangief in the assist can help you get to those combos sooner. I also made sure to put Toxic Love in my first X move slot so that right before their combo begins, I send off that X move and it will charm Hugo into taking the majority of the damage from that first combo. In addition to that, I've got um, you know the shielding X move, but really it's, a, it's about getting to Dulcine's C3 twice. Generally, if you can do that, then you'll be able to take out at least one, maybe two of the enemy fighters. And at that point, now you've broken their full combo chain and you're sitting, you're sitting pretty well. So with enough RNG and repeating that um, over and over, you should be able to nail it. Okay, so let's talk about my, my third team because this is where things get really tricky. Both of those first two teams are powerhouse teams. I know how to run the interrupts. Um, now we're into my, you know, my bench. These are my tertiary characters. Um, so I went through a lot 
of comps. I'll show a few of them on screen here. The unedited footage is about 20 minutes of me replaying this one fight of the three. Let's take a look at this third team. Here's the one that actually worked for me. I've got Zangief up front, I've got Akuma next, and then I've got Oni. This is the mercenary Oni that I'm borrowing from Nova, and Blanca is in the tag. I will be doing a combo string uh, that changes, but I'll start with Akuma, Blanca, Akuma, Oni. After Akuma gets a Shinshun Goku Satsu, then I trade off and I start the combo with Oni. Otherwise, it stays the same. Oni, Blanca, Akuma, Oni. And that's how it finishes. For the X moves, I've got uh, Vigilante up front, try to get a little bit more speed and just have that drone sitting there. Then I've got the, uh, I forget what it's called, the potato cans from Hugo. And finally, we've got Virgil's X move. This is a really important one because this allows us to escape death, basically, for a few seconds. If you were lucky enough to get this X move during the limited time event, uh, this is like the one area where I got lucky <laughs> on something like this. So I do have this X move, and it's, it's, a, it's a game changer. Um, if you don't have this one, then um, Toxic Love is a pretty good substitute. Virgil's X move here will basically make it so that no one in your party, well, no one in either party, can die for, I forget how long, it's like three seconds or something. So it's it's not long, but if you time it out to the point where you know you're about to die, you can keep yourself alive for just one more combo chain and that will make all the difference. Otherwise, this is a very, very fast team. The idea, again, just get damage out as quickly as possible because you cannot survive too many combos. And now we're running short on interrupt options. That's a big part of why Blanca is in here. Um, if you have Blanca's 6x6 six six vehicles, he is a fantastic interrupter. I guarantee you, you will get like two interrupts a fight for free as he automatically counterattacks the enemy. It's a huge deal. Um, if you do use Blanca at all, and I recommend it. I know he's kind of fallen, fallen off and not, not regarded very highly these days, but I love Blanca. And because you need these extra interrupts in order to complete these three team stages, I think he's a really good, good fighter for you to focus on as like a secondary option. So here's kind of the rundown of, of what I'm trying to do. Um, whenever possible, I'm throwing Blanca C1 out at the time that the enemy combo is going off. I basically time it out just like it's B. Sangeef because you will be shocked at how often it really does work almost as well. It's pretty, it's pretty remarkable. So more than anything else, I'm trying to get those free interrupts out of Blanca. Meanwhile, I've got Akuma going hard on the back line. If we can take out Guile and or one of the guys, but especially Guile. Guile, if he gets to his C3, we're finished. It's pretty much that simple. So we need to get those interrupts to avoid it. And then also Akuma hitting the back line allows us to hopefully get, get Guile down and out of the combo string. The other important aspect here is that, that X move. Virgil's X move needs to be activated right when your, usually your whole team, it'll usually be something like, okay, Guile got to his C3, I'm using that X move right now. That would be the situation. But anytime, um, you know, Akuma or Oni in particular, anytime they are down um, and they're gonna go out on the next hit, use that X move. Make sure to keep them alive for one more combo string. That's, that's, a lot of what this is, it's just fighting it out to see who can maintain their combos long enough to win. And the person who can't get their combos off fast enough or gets interrupted will lose. That's what we're trying to do. Interrupt the enemy as often as possible and shut down that combo string um, using those backline attacks. And now I'm just going as hard as I can. I have Blanca's, Blanca's C1 coming in there to get those random interrupts. As you can see, he, I got, I think, three or four interrupts for free with Blanca. So for those of you who've been sleeping on him, you don't think he's, he's worth your time, you're wrong. Blanca's amazing and get all six of his vehicles so that he will give you free interrupts. That's how I completed level 3740. Hopefully some of these strategies will work for you. You can apply it to your own team uh, based on the characters that you have. But hopefully this helped. If it did, make sure to give this video a like. And subscribe to Grind Force Gaming. We've got lots of Street Fighter Duel guides coming all the time and lots of other games that we're keeping track of. I've got Super Mario RPG, the remake, coming out on November 17, just 10 days away. Be sure to check that out. Thanks for hanging out with me for some Street Fighter Duel today. Hope you have an awesome day.